With everything going on right now with this virus, I thought I'd do a little deck tech and show off my modern infect deck. And if everyone wants to blast off into modern, this is actually one of the most easy, effective decks you can build and strategize and hopefully win some uh, games at your local game store when this whole thing's over. But before we crack that open, I just want to show off some cards that I won on a Clever Trevor, Clever Magic Trevor's YouTube channel, which I'll leave a link in the description here if you want to go find him. Uh, he does a lot of giveaways, and uh, he's a really awesome Magic the Gathering YouTuber. There's a lot of fun box openings, and uh, if you want to check him out, that would be awesome. All right, let me just crack this open. I almost forgot what I actually have in here. So, ooh, very nice. Matt Caster, he's got it right on there. Thank you. Wow, great henge. I am think I'm seeing it. I think that's what it is. Beautiful, beautiful card. Wicked. Wow, thank you so much, Trevor. This is awesome. Definitely going to try to find a place for this in, a, in an EH deck. Beautiful. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. And he packed it perfectly in the hardcover case. Very good, very thankful about that. And all right, let's blast into this deck here. In fact, is a, is a deck that had a lot of strength pumped into it from Modern Horizons. So hopefully if there is another Modern Horizons that's gonna come out, it can actually get more people into Modern, hopefully. That's the idea, right? So let me just get it a little closer and I'll focus in on it for you guys. All right, sweet. So the lands, uh, I got a waterlog grove here. Uh, it's basically like like a horizon land, a horizon canopy, and then modern horizons, they just made one for every single type of color set. So waterlog grove, uh, you can pay one life, and you can add one of a green or one of a blue, or you can pay one, sacrifice it, and draw a card, which is really good for infect because it's like a combo deck, essentially. It's like a combo aggro deck, and you don't have a lot of uh, card draw with aggro decks, so... This is a great, great way to dig through your deck. I might put more in, but I only have the one here for now. I have two shock lands here, two breeding pools. This is the original breeding pool from Dissension. Two of them. And I got four Misty Rainforests. These are the original Misty Rainforests, the original fetch lands from Zendikar. Uh, you will get fetch lands again with the secret layer. That's going to be coming out soon. Uh, sorry, my uh, laptop is on. I have uh, four Windswept Heaths, uh, and actually two of them are the original Onslaught ones, and then I have two that are just the good old Konzatar here. It's all about the fetch, baby. This is uh, blue and green. And we have four Ink Moth Nexus, because it's a land and it's an infect creature. So And it's with flying, so very hard to block. So it's it can be an easy win condition for you. If, if you have any of your creatures removed. And I have two Pendle Havens. These uh, pump up your creatures, your small 1-1 one -one creatures, which you're going to have a few of in this Infect deck to break through their defenses. Uh, and one Dryad Arbor because it's a land, but it's also a 1-1 one -one green creature. And I just got the one forest here. Unstable, full art, beautiful. I got a dismember as well. It's a great creature removal, uh, and it basically is any color. So it's essentially colorless. It's, it's black, Phyrexian mana, but really it's colorless. That that life you're gonna lose from that, it really doesn't matter because this deck is so aggro that you're not even really gonna be thinking about your life total. You're not even really gonna be thinking about their life total, to be honest, because it's more about the insect poison counters. I got one Apostle's Blessing to make sure that your uh, creatures are protected. It's got the Frexy Man up there. It's technically white, but again, you're going to use that anyways, and you're not really going to care too much about your life. Three Blossoming Defense. Uh, they will protect your creature, but they'll also add a little bit of a pump if you need it. Four uh, Foil Aww. Original Mutagenic Growths from New Phyrexia. Beautiful art. Uh, essentially a free pump-up spell, two Phyrexian mana, and you get uh, plus two, plus two. Very nice. And I uh, have three 
I was thinking about maybe getting some out and doing a little bit of deck editing, but uh, I like Become Immense. Uh, it's got Delve, so you can just exile cards from your graveyard, and then you can use that as part of the mana. But this really pumps up your your creatures. 6-6. Six, six. That's a nice finishing blow if the game goes longer than it has to go. And I got four ground swells. Uh, I need to replace that one in the middle there, the foil. It's all four I wanted to be foil. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing it. Once this quarantine's out, I'm going to be out and about, and I'm hopefully going to go to the game store and get on that soon, because just looking at this right now is just bugging me. I got four foil finds of Asswood from Zendikar. So, so that is the original set that this came out of. It's got Quick Kicker, so basically it can help uh, give your creatures hexproof. And it also protects them, but it also can pump them up if you give it that little kicker spell. And I got four scale-ups because, uh, I don't know, making your creatures a 6-4 worm is pretty good. Because 6-4 uh, on your little body could actually break through on turn two, potentially, and win the game on Infect. So You can win the game uh, turn two with Infect. That's how fast it is if you get it done right. And I got four of the original Might of Old Crosas. This was actually reprinted also uh, in Modern Masters 2017, I believe. And four of the original Noble Hierarchs. I was really thinking about replacing these for the box topper ones from Ultimate Masters, but haven't got around to doing that. But I'm also thinking, well, these are the original, but I, I do want foil versions of them. But I think these, uh, these, will, these are good. I mean, you really aren't that meticulous about the cards you're using in your deck. I mean, as long as you have the cards, you might really the condition. As long as you're out there at the game store, if you're out there playing in a tournament or just casually on uh, your kitchen counter. And I got four Glistener Elves. This is the OG Infect creature here. Uh, this is from, this is the F&M promo, I believe. Uh, so yeah, very nice. 1-1 one, one Infect creature for one mana. And this guy is the unblockable dude, and I have one of them as foil, new Phyrexia. The other ones are not. I might just replace them all with the Mystery Booster foil since they'll be very cheap soon. But uh, this uh, new Phyrexia foil is uh, almost like $40, I think, I'd like to say. But yeah, unblockable, two mana. It's a nice way to get through their defenses. And my last creature I have is a spell skite, which is a uh, really good because it can change its ability with just paying two life and you can switch abilities onto him. So essentially it's basically an infect creature. So if you want it to be, really. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, I thought of maybe just doing it anyways just to let people know uh, that uh, I people still play magic and they still play modern and they use decks. And uh, the, this virus that's going around there just made me think of this Infect deck, and I just wanted to show it off. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you guys, what decks you like the best, and if you want to see any more deck techs. And I will be sure to read those comments. Anyways, guys, take care, stay safe, and wash your hands. Unless you want to get infected. <laughs>